Hey guys, well, here's your retake review. Let's get right to it. So again, let's review solving by factoring, okay? So when we have a difference of two perfect squares, we're gonna go ahead and break it into two factors. And the square root of nine is three, three times three. X squared breaks down to X times X. And then we would need a negative four on the end, so one's gonna be positive two and one's gonna be negative two. The square root of four is two and two. Okay, so that's the first thing you wanna do. The next thing, we wanna set each factor equal to zero. So remember, we're gonna take the first factor, set it equal to zero. Take the second factor, set it equal to zero. All right, we're almost done. We just need to solve for x. We undo addition first. Then we undo multiplication. And there is one solution. And there is the other solution. And that's solving by factoring. Okay, next type of problem, solving a quadratic inequality. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna plug this in and see what this looks like. So I know that my y-intercept is seven. And I know that it's opening down since my a value is negative. So if I go over one, down one, over one, down one. Now a sine graph, before we do a sine graph, we have to find out what our zeros are. What is, what, where do they cross the x-axis? So we have to find out these two numbers right here. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and solve. I'm going to set this equation right here equal to zero, and we're going to solve for x. So we could use the x factor. We could use quadratic formula. Um, we could also put it in our calculator and do the um, put it in y equals then press second, trace, and I believe um, it's number two for zero. And then we would do our left bound, so we'd put the cursor here, enter, put the cursor here, enter, and then we'd enter one more time, and then it would tell us what the x value is right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and just solve this by subtracting seven on both sides. Dividing by negative one. And then square rooting. So x is gonna be uh, the square root of seven, which is plus and minus 2.5. Six. Actually, it comes out to this, but I just went ahead and rounded to one decimal place. And don't forget, you need the positive and the negative. So, this one would be negative 2.6, and this one would be positive 2.6. So, our sine graph. Okay. So it's a, it has an equal sign, so we're going to have closed dots to the left. This graph is negative, okay? Between these two numbers, the graph is positive. And to the right of this number, the graph is negative. Now, 
the solution is going to be all values that are greater than or equal to zero. So we're talking about above the line y equals zero, above this line. So we're shading between these two points. So we only have one interval. It starts at negative 2.6 and it ends at 2.6. And since we have an equal sign and a closed dot, we use a bracket. And there is your answer. Okay, just ignore that. <laughs> that is not actually the test. That was a previous version. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there for today since that's the bell for six period and Maxwell will come banging on the door any minute. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.